morning, it's Hazel Jarvis, it's Art Online, and since we can't go anywhere in person, we'll do a little bit of armchair travel and a little bit of urban sketching, and we'll visit New Orleans. So I like to prepare a sketchbook before I go because I always find the blank pages a bit intimidating. So I prepare it according to a couple of basic recipes. Half, or maybe not quite half, but some of the pleasure of a trip is thinking about it and planning before you go. So if I think I'm going to be sketching while I'm away, I like to prepare some of my sketchbook pages. And I have kind of a little recipe that I use depending on the location that I'm going to. So if I'm going to New Orleans, it's going to be a blue sky and bright colors for the buildings. If I'm going to do Santa Fe, it might be a really blue sky and adobe uh, red brick. If it's going to be New York and Central Park, it might be a blue, some gray for the buildings and some green. Venice, obviously you need a nice watery sky and London may be grey, but it's really fun before you go to prep your pages. So that's what we're going to do for our New Orleans sketch. This is a sketchbook that I made before going to Venice. In fact, I should have been using it last year, but obviously didn't, where I prepped the pages and then I drew on top of them. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to prep a page and we're going to draw on top of it. So here is the reference picture that we're going to be using. This is a shot of Magazine Street in New Orleans. And first of all, I'm going to prepare a background. So I wet my paint just to get it nice and juicy, make it easy to pick up. And I just paint in the sky. So you use pretty wet paint, you just go across like this and then gradually you're going to move into the brown to suggest the buildings. And I like a nice sort of soft diffuse line. And I just go back and forth. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of periwinkle at the bottom to suggest the sidewalk. And I like the colours to bleed in. You can make your edges neater if you like, but for me, just doing a quick sketch, this is as much as I'm going to do. And now we have to let Before it dry. Before I start a sketch, I like to ask myself, why am I doing it? What is it that appeals to me about this picture? And here I love the balconies. I love the wrought iron. So I know that I want to make the buildings fairly pale so that I can play up the patterns of the wrought iron balconies on top of them. So I'm going to start by just painting in these storefronts. And you can change the colour a little bit if you want. I'm going to put a little bit of pink in this one. Don't make them too dark and just basic solid shapes. We're looking at this face on, which makes it much easier. Take a little bit of yellow ochre and a little bit of white for this next one. And we'll end up with another one. Maybe we'll put a little bit of yellow into our white. And then once more, you just have to sit and wait and let that dry, which is annoying, but you have to do it. Actually, I think while it's still drying, I can put in a little bit of uh, detail or a little bit of definition on the sidewalk. So we'll just do two horizontal lines. We now have our fairly generic New Orleans street background prepared and we can go in now with the watercolour and add some specific detail. 
But this is probably as much as I would do before going. I would have the sky, I would have the shape of some buildings, sidewalk, and then anything else I would add actually on site. So maybe that would be with a marker or a colored pencil. But since I'm in the studio, I'm going to allow myself to use watercolor. So I want to put in the green or the black of the balcony, which you can see here. And also very typical, I want to put in the electricity power lines. So in goes this nice strong line for the balcony and you can adjust it with your marker later on so it doesn't have to be too, too perfect. And also the stands, the supports. So I carefully test to make sure my balcony is dry before painting over with the power line. Nice, strong, dark brown. And then we'll add one or two more in the background. Like so. So if you're sketching on the spot, you don't always have the luxury of a lot of time, which is why having a couple of pages of prepared background is so fabulous. To start with, I'm going to use a Micron 01, and I'm just going to start by putting in the roof line of the buildings. And you want to get basically just the basic shapes in with this pass through. You don't want to get bogged down with any details. So we'll put in uh, a couple of the windows. At this stage, I like to add a little bit of white to give my drawing a little bit of a sparkle. I'm using the Dr. Martens, but obviously if you're painting and you're actually on vacation, you may not have this. So a white gel pen or a white Posca pen work brilliantly. I want to add a little bit of shadow underneath the balcony. So I'm mixing my Periwinkle 61 with my black number 20. And I'm just going to paint in under here. So this is the part that I enjoy the most, which is adding the details. And I'm going to use a Micron 005. I'm going to start at the roof line. Let's hope this pen has not dried up. And I start putting in the details. So here you have your beautiful little street painting of Magazine Street. And if you want, uh, you can always cut out someone from your library of people and add them to the street scene, which I think makes it even more fun. So since you've already got your sheets of people, why not cut some out and add them? In fact, I go one step further. I take my basic sheet and I shrink it down by 75% or by 60% or 50% so that I have people of all different sizes to add when I need them. We went to New Orleans, one of my favorite cities, but you could go almost anywhere. You need to do a little bit of research. You need to pick your color palette and then you fill the pages and you're ready to go. And once you're there, you can just really have a wonderful time. And if you're still in the studio, you can still have a wonderful time thinking about where you'd like to go. 
So bon voyage and see you soon. Mm -hmm.